Good morning, guys. How are you? Tudo bem? Uh, first of all, if you're new in the channel, nice to meet you. My name is Guilherme. You can say, prazer em conhecer você. That's how we say, nice to meet you. If you don't know anything about Portuguese, I recommend you subscribe to this channel. I have many contents in this channel. And today, I will teach you 100 sentences to say in Portuguese. Uh, my name is Guilherme, but you can call me Gui. So, o meu nome é Guilherme, mas você pode me chamar de Gui. I'm Brazilian. Eu sou brasileiro. And I teach uh, in Preply, platform to learn any language. Also, you have a coupon of discount in this the comment of this video. You can have a 13% of discount in the first lesson. So if you would like to go further, you can have access of this link. All right, so let's start the lesson. Uh, probably you know me, probably you don't know, but, uh, but First of all, thank you so much for allowing yourself to watch this video. And let's start. Usually, uh, I have this book here. And we're going to kind of like follow this book. So if you have a, a book, I know I suggest you to use that. If you don't, you can use the Google Docs or uh, words, whatever, what it fits for you. And they hear what a bit, uh, 100 uh, phrases in Portuguese. Uh, usually, I just read what it's in Portuguese, because if you read in English, that's when it takes maybe a lot of time, okay? Uh, so let's start. First sentence means você é de onde? Means where do you come from? Tá? Example, eu sou do Brasil. Eu sou brasileiro. Tá? Means where are you from? Eu sou do Brasil. I come from Brazil. Eu sou brasileiro. I am Brazilian. Give you more. Eu sou americano. That means American. Eu sou italiano. That means Italian. Eu sou inglês. English. Uh, and I'm going to put here, eu sou alemão. Uh, and here you can say Americana if you are a woman. You also Italiana if you are a woman. You also English uh, or you Alem. Let me know where do you come from. Okay, this is a couple examples. I get to next one. This is okay. What's the parts? This we talk about a professions, no? like what is your job, and also you we can ask what you was it fast. My case, eu sou doutor de idiomas. You can say eu sou engenheiro. I am engineer, or you so engineer. I am engineer. If I want, you the body call. I work with the body call. I see. Um. Next, next sentence. Was there? Uh, casado or 
casar. Tá. You can say sim. Eu sou. Yes, I am. Or you can say My scream is shaking because I'm not writing. Yeah? I'm sorry about that, but actually you don't need to talk so far. Okay. You can have a look what it's writing here. So, no, you no, so. Uh, next to question. Próxima pergunta. Você tem alguém? And you can answer. Like, uh, sim, eu tenho. Eu tenho, it's I have. In English, probably you're gonna answer, I, I do. Uh, no, eu não tenho. Okay, so let's read this one here again. Oh, você é de onde? Uh, você é de onde? Eu sou do Brasil. Eu sou brasileiro. Eu sou americano. Eu sou americana. Eu sou italiano. Eu sou italiana. Eu sou inglês. Eu sou inglesa. Eu sou alemão. Eu sou alemã. O que você faz? Eu sou doutor. De idiomas, that's my case. Eu sou engenheiro, eu sou engenheira, eu trabalho com, I work with, and you can put your profession. Você é casado? Sim, eu sou. Não, eu não sou. Você tem alguém? You have someone? Yes, I do. Or yes, I have. No, I don't have. Here, we're gonna do something for you to do. That's gonna be this homework. For this lesson, and uh, I wanna ask you, who said John? What do you do? Give up the class. Você é casado? Huh? Why I put this in highlights? Because I want to to search this question, figure out the answer, and comment this answer in this video. Okay. That's how we can build also community. And I would like to know more about you. Okay. Uh, next question. Você tem filhos? Do you have a children? Do you have a kid? And you can answer. Sim, eu tenho. No. Eu não tenho. Next one. Quantos anos você tem? Tá? Yes, eu tenho. English, you say, how old are you? And you're going to answer with, I am. Né? Portuguese, you use the verb to have. I have. Então, eu tenho 30 anos. De idade. I have 30 years old. Aí, gan, if you want to improve your Portuguese, I have another question for you. Next one. Qual é o seu signo? Uh, signo sign. What is your sign? This, it's about a, a zodiac, like a, a example, I'm Libra. I don't know so the signo de Libra. Huh? Uh, here also you can say, I think, Scorpio, Scorpion, Sagittario, uh, Sagittarian, I think. You have 
Cancer. Cancer. Leo. Virgin. And this is Lion. Uh, bar, Burge. Oh my goodness. That's for that stuff. But it's very similar uh, to English. You could just write like that. Huh? Virgin. Uh, Avis. Avis. Virgin. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Toro. Uh, Genius, Gemini, no, nine, I'm a three more. Genius, Cancer, what is it? Forgetting, um. Uh, Let's search. We don't have to put here. And then, uh, put here. That's what I'm meaning. What are that? We have out of style, cross her down. And okay, we are. Virgo, Virgo, Aquarius, Aquarius, Pages, Aquarius, Pages, and I have another one. Let's miss another one. Capricorn. So here uh, we have Aries, Touro, Gêmeos, Cancer, Cancer, Leão, Virgem, Libra, Escorpião, Sagitário, Capricórnio, Aquarius, Peixes. Uh, it's very close. And also I want you to answer this in the comments. Next question is Você gosta, do you like? But here, the question is going to be do que você gosta. What do you like? Also, I would like you to answer this question. Figure out the answer and also I'm going to comment. I'm going to correct your answer. Okay? So this is a good opportunity for you to learn Portuguese. Você gosta de, exemplo, eu gosto de praticar yoga. I will like to practice yoga. Eu gosto de aprender novos idiomas. I don't know what do you like, but uh, let me know. Uh, eu gosto de aprender novos idiomas. Eu gosto de cozinhar. Tá? Let's just repeat here. Uh, você tem alguém? Sim, eu tenho. Não, eu não tenho. Você tem filhos? You can answer like that. Uh, sim. Sim, eu tenho. Não, eu não tenho. Quantos anos você tem? My kids, I have a 13 years old. This, you just switch for the numbers. I have a video about the numbers. You can check. Qual é o seu signo? Tá? That's the sign of zodiac. Correct me if I'm wrong. Escorpião, Sagitário, Cancer, Leão, Virgem, Ares, Touro, Gêmeo, Aquário, Peixe, Capricórnio. Uh, what do you like? Do que você gosta? I like to practice yoga. I like to learn a new language. I like to cook. I'm talking about me. Uh, next question. Onde você mora? Actually, I want you to answer this one. Uh, no. 
exemplo, eu moro em São Paulo. I live, I live in São Paulo. So, where do you live? Onde você mora? Eu moro em São Paulo. Tá? Let me know. Uh, você mora sozinho? Or, you can say sozinha, if it's a woman. You love alone? Sim. You can say sim, eu moro. Uh, não, eu não moro. Uh, yes, eu live. No, I don't live. Okay. Um, this is like a how to ask a personal question uh, politely. But uh, we already like this is not so. Let's skip this one. Okay, talk to Farina. Uh, example, you can say, quanto uh, tempo? Yes, so if you come to Brazil, that's probably something that you want to do a lot. You can say uma semana, that means one week. Um mês, uma month, duas semanas, two weeks, um ano, uh, it means one year. E apenas alguns, yes, just a couple days. Okay. This way you don't need to answer. Uh, next thing, example, você está onde? Or actually, you can ask like that, onde você está? Where are you staying? But this one is like where you are. Where are you? Uh, uh, so probably here, this sentence here, he mean about the hotel or something. Uh, onde você está? Example, onde você está? Where are you? Or where? Where you are, in this case, my case, you is in a casa. I am at my home. You is in casa. I am in home. Or I am at home. Um, next thing. Um, this is important that you can use if you come to Brazil. Está aqui trabalho. Ou oh, a ah, passeio. So, are you here for work? Vacation, passeio is like a pleasure. Uh, eu sei, eu estou aqui por uh, a ah, trabalho. In my case, I'm working. Uh, o que você achou da comida? Uh, how do you like the food? Okay. But also in Portuguese, I'm translate that. Okay, but so it's like give me your thoughts about the food. You can say, a comida estava deliciosa. The food was delicious. Also, I want you to ask, o que você achou da aula? Uh, it's like, uh, give me your thoughts about the lesson. A show is the verb to find, uh, but also can be to guess or to think. So give me your thoughts about this lesson. Give us a show da aula. Uh, you can say, uh, eu gostei, eu gostei da aula, I like it, the class, foi uma Porcaria, quanta shit, shit, é uma porcaria, eu cansei, <laughs> why not, <laughs> some people like, some people don't like, oof, it's my powerful, um, and also you can say, eu não gostei, I didn't like, up to you. If you like or not, whatever. Uh... <laughs>
<laughs> you know, I love to do this video on YouTube because definitely sometimes I can say things, I can express myself, you know, example, not my clients. So sometimes with my clients, we, we need to be like very polite. But to be honest, if you want to learn or if you don't want to learn, it's not a problem. Like, uh, I give you free content. I give you my time. I give you my time. So it's up to you. Like you can learn. I have a, a round. This is gonna be the third the video of number 30. So you have a, a round like uh I don't know, maybe 20 hours of content, 10 hours of content. It's up to you if you want to learn. You can learn Portuguese with me. But it's like that. I give the receipt and you need to cook the food. <laughs> uh, example, let's think, let's continue. Que você, uh, that's a very good one. Uh, que você achou da comida, você precisa experimentar. Você precisa experimentar. Você precisa experimentar, experimentar aquilo You need to prove, or you need to, you have to try, you need to eat feijoada. Feijoada is a typical dish from Brazil. So if you come to Brazil, try feijoada. Uh, você já foi a outros lugares? Uh, you have been to Florianópolis. Uh, actually, I can say você já veio para o Brasil. Did you have a been to Brazil? And you can say sim. Eu já vim. E não. Eu nunca fui. Uh, so, no, eu nunca fui. It's like not. Never have a been to Brazil. Fui ao Brasil. Okay. Uh, this something, uh, Saint Saudade. So that's like, um, it's the only word that I have in Portuguese that it doesn't have any any language, it's something that uh, we can't explain. It's like uh, this feeling of miss, you know, miss something. I miss you. But the so that's, yeah. So uh, you can say, você sente saudades de casa. Like, do you miss home? Home means casa. Uh, and you can answer, sim, eu sinto muita saudade. Uh, no, no, I don't see it. I don't see it. I don't miss so much home. Uh, okay, so we saw a lot here. Let's continue this one here. Uh, so here, onde você mora? Uh, onde você mora? Eu moro em São Paulo. Você mora sozinho ou sozinha? Sim, eu moro. Uh, não, eu não moro. Uh. Não, eu não moro. Há quanto tempo está aqui? Uma semana, um mês, duas semanas, um ano, apenas alguns dias. Onde você está? Eu estou em casa. Está aqui a trabalho ou a passeio? Eu Estou aqui a trabalho. O que você achou da comida? A 
comida estava deliciosa. O que você achou da aula? Eu gostei da aula. Foi uma porcaria. <risos> Eu não gostei. Você precisa experimentar feijoada. Você já veio para o Brasil? Sim, eu já vim. Não, eu nunca fui ao Brasil. Você sente saudades de casa? Ah, that's interesting. Uh, sim, eu sinto saudades, sorry, sim, eu sinto muitas saudades, não, eu não sinto tanta saudade. I don't miss home at all. Uh, aqui, ó, você já fala alguma coisa em Português. Não, eu não. Eu falo. So here, do you know any Portuguese yet? And here you can say, no, eu não falo, or you also can say, sim, eu falo. Sim, eu falo um pouco. Yes, I speak a little or talk a little. Uh, you can just say sim, eu falo. Yes, I speak, I talk. Uh, next one here. Next, uh, você, você já foi ao Rio, tá? So we don't say real, we say Rio. Você já foi ao Rio, and also you can just answer like this. Sim, eu já fui. Sim, eu já fui. Uh, eu... Nunca foi, tá? um, it's always interesting to think example depends what you ask depends the verb that you ask example why i i can't answer like this one because the verb is different this is like a vein it's like to come this is like a fui is the verb to go nah. so you have a bean so i can't uh, i can't answer in the same way because Most of the time, I'm going to answer according with the verb that I ask me, the action. All right. We are listening. Um, this one. Bem-vindo. Please welcome. You can say obrigado or obrigada. So, bem-vindo. Obrigada. Obrigado. Ah. Let's think this one. Uh, you already ask here? No. So that's good. Qual é o seu nome? What's your name? You will probably wish all that, so it's good that we are repeating the questions. So, meu nome é Guilherme. Mas você pode me chamar. My name is Guilherme, but you can call me Gui. Então, meu nome é Guilherme, mas você pode me chamar de Gui. My name is Guilherme, but you can call me Gui. Uh, não conheço você de algum lugar, tá? Uh, não conheço você de algum lugar. You can say like me, talvez. No. Acho que não. I don't think so. Acho que não. I don't think so. Acho que não. 
tá? Então, ao esse exemplo, I put, usually I'm saying, uh, what it means in English, so put the notes in English, or just, you can just copy and put in the Google Translate, the, trans, the Google Translator, uh, the Google Translator. And also, if you want to go more deep, se separate the words with adjectives, substantive, adverbs, preposition, like, okay, acho. Acho, it's a verb, acho, it's a preposition, it's adverb, ask to yourself, what is this word? And usually the Google give us the answer. We can go deeper and deeper. Uh, um, gostei da sua camisa. But usually, camisa is like a social shirt, t-shirt, social shirt, shirt. You can say camisa. You can say here also, obrigado. No, obrigado. Uh, O que você faz por aqui? So what, what brings you here? Tá? Example, here it's a expressions. So if you pay attention, if you try to translate word by word, doesn't work. What it brings, brings is trazer. If you translate Portuguese, faz is like a do. What do you do here? But in English, probably we say more. So what it brings you here? You can say, eu vim, eu vim para cá a passeio. Uh, I come here to, passeio is like holidays, but like pleasure to hang out. Uh, also, you can say, eu estou de férias, on vacation, estou de férias. Okay, boy, boy, here. Uh, so, again, qual é o seu nome? Meu nome é Guilherme. This is a question that I would like you to answer in the comments. Uh, next one here. Uh, lugar legal, né? That's interesting. You can say lugar legal. Uh, uh, lugar. So, nice place, right? Uh, né? 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 It's just uh. uh here. Uh, other expressions here. Como está frio? It's cold here. Uh, como está quente? Uh, a gente aprendeu here. Como está frio aqui? Aqui it means here. Como está frio aqui? Como está quente aqui? Uh, it is cold. It is hot here. Uh, como está Cheio aqui. Nah. It is crowded here, in here. And you can say sim. Como está frio aqui? How can I say right? Como está frio aqui? Está, né? You can say está, né? It is, right? Está, né? Um, here. During a conversation at the party or gathering. Uh, você quer outra bebida? Você quer outra bebida? You can say sim or gentileza. No. Obrigado. Tá? Sometimes Brazilians are very like resistant people, especially my friends. They're like, oh, drink, 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 drink. And we say, you get a drunk. You can say no, obrigado, or also you can say eu no bebo alcohol. I don't drink alcohol. 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 Uh, here, next one. O que você está bebendo? Or are you drink? Eu estou bebendo. I drink. Caipirinha. Caipirinha is a super famous cocktail in Brazil. All right. So guys, we learn 100 expression for you to say in Portuguese. Okay, if you want to go more deep, let's check these words here. And there. 
um, the Google Translator because you're gonna put this word in the Google Translator. If you're not, you're gonna forget. And uh, let's see what the Google Translator say to us. Um, We're gonna check very quickly. Where are you from? I'm telling them in English. What are you doing? That's correct. Okay, dear, Marin, that's correct. That's what? Yes, I have. Yes, I do. I do not have. Uh, you see what you're seeing? And that's correct. 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 Here, a bull. It's like a Taurus. Uh, but the bull also is the Toro. It's the animal. Gem is like twins, but I Gemini. In English, you can see like uh, here now, Pisces, Aquarium, Capricorn. Uh, so this is the translation. That's what they are meaning. What do you like? No. Uh, that's correct, correct, correct. How much time you are here? That's correct. Just a few days. Where are you? I'm at home. That's correct. Are you here for a call for pleasure? I'm here on business. What did you do think uh, about uh, here? It's da comida, like a bowl. Uh, what the food? Food was delicious. Okay, what's your should? I like the class. It sucked. You can answer. Please be honest. I did not like. Do you need to try to join the thing? That's correct. You miss home, you miss a lot. Ah, I don't miss. Ah, ah, you don't seem to turn to so that. Ah, I don't miss. Miss, miss you that much. Ah, remember, we talk about home. The answer. Speak about home. Yeah, we speak anything. Okay. Okay. Welcome. Here it's thank you. Ah. My name is Guilherme, but you can call me Guy. Okay. I know you from somewhere. Perhaps. Perhaps. Obrigado. I'm on vacation. I'm here. Tá passeio. They hear it here uh, as a, a, a walk. Né? I'm also passeio can be a walk, but remember, it's like a, come here to pleasure. Né? Passeio. Lugar legal, né? How cold is here? Uh, it is, right? What is here? It's around, uh... Okay. So if we put the translation, it's correct. Just a couple words. That you need to fix the words that I say right now. All right, guys, I let you one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine questions for you to answer in the comments in this video. Where are you from? Você é de onde? O que você faz? What do you do? Are you married? How old are you? What zones do you have? What is your sign? Do que você gosta? Onde você mora? O que você achou da aula? Qual é o seu nome? All right. So that was 100 expression learning in Portuguese. Thank you so much for you to watch this video. I appreciate that a lot. Appreciate your time. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for all your support. I don't know where you're coming from, but the channel is growing, so I appreciate that a lot. Thank you so much, you guys, and I see you in the next video. So probably after 10 lessons, I always try to change a couple things. So I'm going to have a couple of change. Let's see. All right. Cheers, guys. See you. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Ah, I almost forget, yeah? don't forget to like this video, to subscribe, and to answer this question in the comments, all right? But uh, please, don't forget to like. This is important. See you guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>